So uh, this is a brand new Yamaha R3 but this is 2016 white and red version I believe for 2016 there are three kinds three colors this white and red and then the blue color and then the matte black color or the matte black grayish color so this is how it looks this is a beginner bike so the handles, the difference between the 600cc bikes, the sports bike, is the handle. It's not as bent as those. It's more close to those um, naked bikes. So you could say this is the in-between bike of the two types, naked and the sports bike. I like how it looks. That's why I picked this one. I don't want that uncomfortableness of the sports bike but I want that look of the sports bike so I was searching through it and I found this R3 and I thought this is it for me so those of you who need a commuting per bike for commuting purpose I recommend this one the position is body position is pretty comfortable and it also has a sick look as a sports bike so let's take a look closely Mine is a customized version, the dealer customized it for me, so I added about $1,000 worth of custom. This is one custom, I got rid of those uh, lights stick sticking it out, I thought this is cooler, and it's street legal, so, and this fender is a protector, slide protector. Um, in case you drop the bike or get into a light accident, it protects the cowl and the things inside. So, I highly recommend that before you take it home. To install that, it's only 100 bucks. And as you can see, um, on the first day out, I uh, dropped the bike. I mean, I got into an accident, so if without this, I believe the whole thing would crash. But just because of that, I didn't spend a penny on my motorcycle. I just got the medical bills. So this is how it looks on the side. Just like any other sports bike. The peel is pretty nice. It's all black. And the pointer, the red trims. And this is the gas tank, and this is the dominator. Ah. What I like about Yamaha R3 is that as a beginner bike, it gives you the pretty look, uh, the digital speedometers. The cheap ones, the beginner bikes, they don't really give you any um, signs, it just tells you the RPM or the how fast you're going but mine is all digital tell you the gears lights and everything so this is pretty uh, decent pedometer for beginner bike because only beginners need these signs the experts they just share the engine and they know what gear they're in when to change the gears when to upshift and downshift but only the beginners need to know what gears they're in they forget <laughs> So let's take a ride.